So this video is a bit overdue. Um, I feel like I haven't made a real video in months. Um, life just kind of got a little busy, things opening up, started working a bunch more, and all these little projects I started sort of went on hold, I guess. And one thing I was working on for a while, right before work and life got busy, were these little books. Um, but I guess I should briefly go over what they are. Um, so I played a little video before about um, what they looked like and me putting them together. Um, and I will have them for sale. but. I'll explain a little more first, I guess, so um, if anyone had watched a few of my videos before, you will probably remember that some friends and I were reading this book, um, which is Poverty, Ancient Caravans, and Urban Chic, which is this academic sort of intellectual look at poverty, um, but more specifically um, revolves around some ideas relating to how the tea itself has multiple identities and um, sort of means so many different things to different actors or characters within the, the tea world, um, whether that be locals who produce the tea, merchants who buy the tea, or um, consumers just far on down the line. So I try to read this book every year or so just as I gain more knowledge and um, taste more teas and it's really cool because I always get something new out of it um, but yeah I wanted to read this with some friends so we got a little reading group together we all read a few chapters a week and then we decided we wanted to make a project um, so basically my idea was that we would read the book and then interpret it in any which way we felt made sense for how we worked and I chose to do a little photo book. Um, some people did poems, some people did um, musical compositions, someone worked on a mini documentary. It was pretty cool just to see how everyone took the same idea and interpreted it differently. Um, but within that we kind of got to similar spaces um, and had a really cool conversation around the book. Um, but yeah. I made three separate individual books, but it's one project that I called Waiting Shape, um, which you can interpret in any way you want, but I was really drawn to the, identi the identity aspect or the multiple identity aspect that Fortity has and sort of how you have to trust people along the way, like if they're merchants that you're purchasing it from, um, just identifying it in nature, different things like that. So my idea was to create one book that had multiple identities. So 
these are all the same front cover and last picture but the insides are all different so depending on which one you get when if and when you order it um, you won't know what's inside but with that being said they're all the same thing but they just have different identities um, so yeah that was sort of my idea around this and, and the photographs were just a response to the reading of the book I'm also thinking about starting a little side project with my mom um, where we make the tea mats or the chabu. Um, she's got a bunch of old fabrics that I think would look really cool in tea mat form and it's something I'd love to share with people so hopefully you're interested in those as well. Um, I've been thinking a lot about how my practice is changing and I've been getting some new tea wear and trying to grew a little more intentionally and I think this really fits into it and it sort of I know connects to a lot of the, the creative parts of my life too and is something that I'd really love to like do with my mom. I think it'll be a cool project. Um, keep us both busy and sort of our way to share what we do with people. So yeah. Keep an eye out for those. Um, I'll likely list them on Etsy along with these books. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try to make more videos soon and I'll keep everyone updated on some of my new projects and a um, little Etsy store that we're making. So see you around, drink some good tea, bye.